Well, it's a disgrace that the Labour Party and government are standing by and allowing Margaret Darcy to stay in prison. Uh, Margaret Darcy has been a lifelong peace activist. She's fought against the uh, misuse of Shannon Airport by military aircraft from the US, uh, and she's been put in prison for drawing attention to that. In opposition, uh, Eamon Gilmore in 2006 was part of a Council of Europe report which drew attention to this issue and said we can no longer uh, turn a blind eye. Now, astonishing government, it's within his gift to do something about this, but he also needs to put pressure on the Minister for Justice to free Margaret Darcy immediately uh, because it's an absolute disgrace that she's been kept in prison. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we've been raising the issue and we're here fully in support of Margareta and this campaign to have Margareta released, but really to focus on the broader issue of the use of Shannon as a military airport. We're calling on particularly the Tanishka to act in this in this regard. It's within his jurisdiction to do something about this. Uh, I mentioned this morning that if the Gardaí had a drunk driving campaign and they weren't using breathalysers, there'd be uproar about it. But we have military planes coming into Shannon and the guards aren't even going in to have a look. They're saying, President, President Obama said it's okay, we're all right, lads. It's just simply not good enough. He didn't say that in 2006 when he was on the Council of Europe. Uh, the report from the Council of Europe raised issues on this uh, as far back as then. We have uh, information from Amnesty and from Shannon Watch and from many other sources. We're calling for the government to act now on these reports to do something about it, to, to stop turning a blind eye to the misuse of Shannon. And obviously we praise Margareta for the stand she's taken. She's a brave woman, she's a strong woman. Uh, very few people would have done what she's done and fair play to her. And it's a disgrace that this state has seen to use the arm of justice to put a 79 year old woman in ill health in prison when we have an awful lot of other people out there who pr should probably have found uh, themselves in prison and, and in Limerick much further, and further back. So we're calling for the release of Margareta Darcy immediately. It's about time the Tanisha got off the fence on the issue and the Labour Party.